Do you want to get, you want to screw yourself into the mat? One more time. Watch the corkscrew. She'll come in normal speed. Watch the corkscrew. See that? That's an equal throw. Well, remember, I want to control both his upper body and his lower body, so what I want to do is I'm dropping on my knees and I'm corkscrewing myself into the mat. That's what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so, so I want to get my kumikata. Okay, now when I grab here, in the basic form, there are different ways to do it, the basic form, I'm going to grab between the elbow and the shoulder there, right at the, the, the seam here, and I'm going to really wrench that in tight and get a good purchase here, like that, so I can pull. Okay? I don't want to be down here. It's too, it's too far. Is it's just too long of a grip. I want to be a shorter grip up here, okay, like this. Right. And my other hand, now I'm kind of leading my right foot, okay? My right hand, my, my power hand, my surgery thing, will pop up, okay? So I'll pop them up here, like that, all right? Now, as I'm going to come in, my right hand on the hook and tighten it tight. We have to, my chest, my shoulder to his shoulder, all right? See that? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around and I'm going to do like the best sitting I get I possibly can. My knees to the left, my buttocks to the right, and my toes pointing to the left. Okay, so I want good form, my upright, my standing form is hip on Sayanagi. I gotta have that first. I don't just wanna flop on my knees. It's called a knee drop Sayanagi, but we just don't wanna flop and drop on our knees. We don't wanna do that. So if I pop them up here, lock in tight, spin. Now, for beginning kids, I'm gonna have you drop on your left knee first, then your right knee, and look, my knees are pointing to the left, my rear end's pointed to the right. And in between his legs. See that? Okay. So, it's going to look like this. Pop up here. Lock in. Turn around. Drop. Drop. And I throw. Okay? Now, when I actually throw, I'll, I'll, I'll do that fast. I'll do it in a faster sequence. Okay? So, watch me. I'm actually throwing and I'll have you throw them too. Pop in here. Come in here. Okay, like this. Okay? Pop. Good. Drive. I drive all the way through. Don't stay curled up here. Drive into him. Standard kumikata. She pops him up. When she comes in, she comes in all the way. Now look at her. She the knees to the left, the feet to the left, butt to the right. She drops one knee to the other knee. She's gonna throw him. It drives all the way through. She gets him all the way on his back. We want to get a lot of back exposure. If we get the pawn. A good clean judo in fashion. A little quicker. See how fast and hard that was? He knew he got thrown. I noticed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how to do it. That's the drop straight out you. You don't want to do this. You don't want to do this. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> you flop and drop. You don't want to do flop and drop. Definitely no knees open. Yeah. Notice you don't want to be in this position here. And if I flop just on my knees, all the weights, all, all the power of the throw, all the kinetic energy is going straight to the ground. It's not over my body into him. And you notice also, you always dig your toes in the mat. So you don't want to just come in and on the flop here. Just don't come in and just go like that. Because I'm going to get a throw. You just, you know, he'll just take me to the ground and beat me. Okay? So you want to get, you want to screw yourself into the mat one more time. Watch the corkscrew. She'll come in normal speed. Watch the corkscrew. That, that's an equal throw. She's going under his center of gravity, which is about his belt line, and that's what really helps throw him. And she's getting a lot of torque by, you know, corkscrewing into the ground. Right? Let's try it. Give it a try.